Are you ready for an afternoon tea etiquette lesson? Help me, William. Help me. Okay, well, don't get too overwhelmed. <laughs> I want to try something as unusual, I suppose, as possible. A planter's mistress. Well, that sounds about right. <laughs> we don't do a big flick to the side because we're going to take someone's eye out. They'll be lying dead on the floor, which is not what we want unless we're on stage. What if I spill? We'll pretend not to notice. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Take the plate and offer it. I reckon this is a one bite job, you know. <laughs> would you like a scone, Matt? I would love a scone, thank you. Okay, that's very wrong. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> thought it might be. Freshly baked scones, we would break in half with the hands. The tension. Perfect. Yes, well done. Now, what would you call this? I would call it a scone. <laughs> We'd call it a scone, because once it's scone, it's scone. And also the Queen's a scone, and it's terrible. Oh, what would Mr. Paravicini say? <laughs> it is a scone, I don't know. As the Great Dane was from Devon, we shall do it the Devonian way. And now on the plate, Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> now we move on to the final layer, which is the patisserie. To eat these, we're going to use this teeny tiny fork. Cut, stab, eat. Can I do this? Uh, no. You no. don't need to get every last <laughs> Yes, you, you do. do. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying. Yes, my patience. <laughs> <laughs> now you know everything about afternoon tea etiquette. Hopefully there are no more <laughs> crimes against good manners.